This is absolutely Essendon. It's our match review of the game against the Crows. Fortunately, all went well. The Dons are sitting now at uh, nine games, uh, nine wins, seven losses. Yep. Uh, we're sitting fifth somehow. I somehow. Think, yeah, it's a bit like, um, who was that guy that won the Olympic ice skating a couple of years back? Ah, uh, Stephen Bradbury. Because everyone fell over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, well, I think that's why we're in fifth. I think the Bulldogs lost. Right. Um, St Kilda lost. Everyone lost. I don't mind being the Stephen yeah. Bradbury. That's he, all right. He still makes right. a bit of money on the speaking circuit. He's still got a gold medal, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah, mate, right? he does. He does. Fair and enough. people love to hear that story because exactly. it's all about just showing up. They yeah, say yeah. 80% of life is showing well, that's, up. Well, that's today, isn't it? That's the woke world we live in. You just turn up, you get a medal, right? That's it. Everyone. Participation Participation. Medal. Anyway, that's right. let's talk about so, the football. So they did. So we're sitting in fifth. So, yes, yeah. your point is right. If we slip up, there will be a horde. Behind, well, we will get trampled on. <laughs> they are coming for It'll us. It'll be Genghis khan yeah. Yes, And I don't think they like the fact that we're in that position. No, they don't. No, they don't. It's sort they of don't. irritating quite a few of our competitors. Well, because, you know, we're, we're not even – Essendon fans aren't even looking at the fact that sort of we're ahead of others just on a you know half a percentage point yeah. we've actually got our eye on that fourth spot i can tell you what maybe, i mean if the, de- the demons uh, slip up in the next couple of weeks watch out yes we're coming for you we number might. four we might we want that don't we but before that we should probably look at uh, look at the game we ended up winning by 18 points margin was bigger at, at uh, stages sure was. i mean if ever there's a game where that does not reflect the margin does not reflect uh the performance Right. It was this game, and I think an 18-point uh, victory to the Dons absolutely flattered that abysmal waste of space club from, from Adelaide. They were awful. And how they could even be competing for a top eight spot is beyond me. Uh, we, we actually gave them an almighty pantsing, I thought. Were they really that awful? No, they did all right. Well, you just yeah, exaggerated. They, <laughs> you exaggerated. Yeah, they were right, okay. But let's talk about the first half yes. of that game because yes. I think that is a window into the future. Well, we, we were worried about how Essendon, because we, I think well, it was a multi-episode. We won't get into that. But they... Cha-ching. Adelaide, it did go all right. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but Adelaide were... Uh, uh, ha- not scoring so well in the first quarter in their previous 11 games in Victoria, but that didn't necessarily mean that Essendon was going to come out of the blocks, but they did. Yeah, look, it was the classic shootout. And, uh, you know, I thought we had them on toast in the first few minutes. I mean, the goals were just flowing so freely from our side. Uh, But they were able to score pretty uh, regularly and very efficiently when they went forward. And it became a bit frustrating, to be honest, because the domination was there. And uh, the Adelaide was still able to score. Yeah. Uh, I think they got five goals themselves in they the did. first quarter. quarter yeah. They did. That first quarter, yeah. they did. They, uh, they, they really came back. And sure. There wasn't much of a margin to show for it. I mean, a couple of those were goals out the back that they just ran in and kicked them. They weren't necessarily goals crafted on the back of any skillful play. But, um, but you know, <laughs> right. again, that, that score line just simply did not reflect the dominance uh, in terms of Essendon's dominance over the Crows. And and from the very first minute, you saw it. And, and Zach Merritt opened the proceedings beautifully with a vicious tackle, wins the free kick, yep. and then uh, Red Dog running past, banging it in from 55 out. It was an electric atmosphere at the ground. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Red Dog basically saying to Adelaide's recruiting team, stick that up your jumper, I want 900,000. <laughs> right. yeah. I reckon he's just negotiating. He was. <laughs> that was it. I reckon he Why is. Redmond? I'm telling you, Merritt should have given the ball to someone else. We're just making yes. Redmond look fantastic. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, so from that first minute, you know, those guys were just yeah. on. And you could feel the energy. You know, you can just always yeah. tell from yeah. the beginning yeah. of the game. Yeah. Um, well, it's part of that trust thing because, like, I know you you said that they would respond this week, but you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking maybe just the wind out of their sails, losing after the siren last yeah. week. Maybe sure. they don't come out a bit sluggish, but no, they didn't. Yeah, and it was great to see. Like again, just a further reflection of the maturity of the team, just ever so gradually. Look, I think if you think back to famous one point losses that we've had, and one that springs to mind was the '99 uh, preliminary final. Yeah, and we. Had had a, it wasn't a one-point loss. It was a four-point loss to Port Adelaide, but a brutal uh, after the goal, uh, yes. after the siren goal that, yeah. that put us away. You know, as was the case 
after the 99 preliminary, 2000 was an absolute stellar year yeah, because was. those players responded to that horrible loss. And I think that was what happened against the Crows. Yep. They were very, very disappointed with losing the game to Port Adelaide. And I doubt anyone would have beaten the Bombers on the weekend. They were that good. They Jeez. were that switched on. Well, I mean, I'm not going to take just your word for it. Sure. Don't be offended. Please don't. You never um, have. But finally, the media seemed to have sort of been giving the Dons some, yeah. uh, some credit for the way that they that they played. And even a couple suggesting that, you know, that fourth spot, maybe, maybe. Well, yeah, look, I mean, I still think there's a little bit of a gap between us and the, and the top four I sides. Would, I would agree. Uh, but, you know, that gap's closing and... You know, I keep seeing improvement and you look at the squad and it's hard to find a player in the list that has not improved this year over last year. Right. I mean, as far as, I mean, I'm sure there's a couple, but generally speaking, Mm. you're seeing improvement across the board led by their majestic captain, Zach Merritt, So he's having a blinder. He got leather poisoning, as did Darcy Parrish, both on 39 possessions. Now, how did you feel about Darcy's, the the, the efficiency, the quality level of disposals? Yeah, look, I think he was quite disappointing in the Port Adelaide game, despite getting a fair amount of the pill. Yeah. 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 It was a different game for sure. He was far more effective. There were the occasional fluffed lines, no doubt about that. But uh, there was one incident in the game where he was charging towards the forward 50 with a pretty open forward line, could have put it on anyone's chest, yeah. scrubbed the kick straight to a Port Adelaide defender. Yeah. Yeah. And you're thinking, geez, Darcy, when are you going to learn? But in the in the blinking of an eyelid, he, he raced in. He completed a smother off the very same defender who had collected the ball, took the ball himself and then pinged it over to Nick Martin and ultimately a goal was scored. So you had that kind of classic sort of two sides of the coin with Darcy. Yeah. One moment of, well, why'd you do that, to a moment of absolute brilliance. Yeah, um, I, still I think it. he was pretty good yeah. and I think we, we really now need to think seriously about him being a part of this team going forward. I, I think talk of him leaving is probably unwise. We should be doing everything to keep him. Oh, I've, I've you, changed you've my swung. turn. Yeah, you've I'm, swung. I'm afraid I have. I've yeah. always thought that, just FYI. I know, yeah, but you're smarter than me. Um, well, thank you. Um, okay, so also McGrath did uh, did did very well. Yeah, look, hey, hey, I, I've said it a couple of times this year that, you know, in any other world, he's sort of on, on track for an All-Australian Guernsey. Or mm. Blazer or whatever they give them, what, what, little yeah, trinket. What, what do they? I get? think it's a blazer, baggy green cap. Yeah, no, you don't get a baggy green. Right, that's, okay. that's sacrosanct. Okay. But they do get a blazer, do they? Um, really? and that's it. They never play a game of football. The All no. Australian team. No. But I think Andy, Andy McGrath. You know, look, he's had his challenges for sure, but he's been. You know, absolutely superb in in the back line this yes. year, and rock solid. And he's he's getting better by the match in terms of his disposal efficiency yeah. and his effectiveness off that back line. I, yes. I think he's a terrific player for us now, and he's really found his his groove. Yeah, yeah. Martin continues to do well. Yeah, now he is in in line for an All Australian. That's for sure. For yeah. sure. I think even that's the, the, me- the media is saying. Yeah, that. they are. Yeah. They are. They are. They've mm. given it their blessing. Um, uh, Hobbs as well continues to uh, to to do well. Um, I think we've covered we, we've talked about him uh, heaps recently. Now Phillips, he did uh, he did pretty well. Yeah, look, he he's been good, hasn't he? You know, when yeah. when we were kind of writing him, well, I was kind of writing him off. To be fair, yeah. Um, although I think you secretly agreed with yeah, me. Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I did. But I, I think did. in the the weeks that Drape has been out of the side, he's Mate. he's actually stood up and and provided a, a, a lot of contest. Yeah. At the centre bounces and around the ground, and unfortunately, uh, he's going to be out against the cats. Was that his way of getting a week off? Like, uh, is he like you know, I'm a bit buggered, but you know. Scotty, Scotty's not going to give me a week off because you know he's got no other options. Well, he's got Wiedemann. Oh, so you're, he's you're got correct. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, you're quite right. So, uh, look, yeah, I think he needed to be managed for sure. I mean, the guy's never strung five games together in his exactly, career. Exactly, exactly. So, He'd have the biggest stitch going. So I reckon he just like one minute to go. He's like, I can't do. Just this do thing. it. Whack down at the hey, cattery. Did a Willy Rioli. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hey. doing it. Let me just get off. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing that he even was coordinated enough to get his elbow out. But, uh, you know, anyway, he took the guy out, a minute to go. He won't be playing next week. But, uh, right. yeah, he's been pretty good. And, and look, I, it's hard to really find a, a bad player in that team yeah. on the weekend. I, I think the you Perk. want to talk about the unsung heroes? Well, before that, what about the Perkins? 
Oh, Perkins was fantastic. He, I don't know if he's unsung because he, because you know, but he, but he, had, he has been a little bit quiet. But yeah, I, he, true. He, he, he uh, has a pl- twenty plus game. I think twenty four possessions. Twenty four was it? Twenty four right. good possessions. And, and played a little bit of time in the middle, which I think he, mm. he he's starting to be sort of groomed for more time in the centre. Yeah, and he's doing a great job. He's always responded to that. I think against Carlton, he played on Crips and spent yep. a fair bit of time on the ball. Yeah. Uh, so he, uh, Archie's getting there, and I think yes. you know, there's no question he's going to be a, a 200 plus game player for us for sure. He's, yeah. he's a terrific yeah. young kid. He is, and he is. Um, uh, we're very lucky to have him. To be honest with you, because he's just so damn good looking, Mr. GQ. Apart from anything else, right? Mr. GQ. I swear right, to so God. Back to the unsung heroes. Yeah. Well, what do you want to? Do I get to bring up Schnelling again? You. Hair Schnelling? Yeah, Hair Schnelling, Hair Guelfi. Uh, yeah. b- both of them. It's oh, the Germanic duo. Loving what they're doing. And then, of course, there's Menzi as well. But just, you know. Menzi? Again, with with Schnelling, you know, again, not going to make a, a big highlight reel. No. But just that pressure, it, it really does help. It helps big time. Look, their, their efforts in the forward line on the weekend, I mean, there was one smother from Guelfi, which was just, it was like Superman. It was just, he dived midair. I'd love to see the slow-mo of that one. Yeah. But yeah, look, those three guys, they're never going to trouble the scoreboard too much, but they are just so committed to the cause. They are. And you've got to have those players you do. in a successful team. You do. Right? They're not you going do. to be kicking 50-metre sausages like you know, Stringer yes. or someone, yeah. but they're laying the tackles, they're pressuring all the time, yep. and that dynamic is going to make it very, very hard for Waller to get back into the side. Yeah, that, that is true. I think that's the case now. That is But that that, is, that's that for another true. day. But, that um, is true. But now, they, they were sensational, those three boys. What about, I actually, I want to get get on to injuries in a moment, but yeah. two-metre Peter, he's back on the scoreboard. Yeah. That was good to see. He, and he, they were still holding his arm and dragging him backwards and doing yeah. But he managed yeah. to get off the leash a little bit this week. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he that would have helped. Three, three. Him. Was that would have helped. A good him. Three goals, three. It was. Yeah. It so was. he's just he's just building up. Uh, he's building up towards a, a good run towards yeah. the, the the finals. I hopefully. hope so. Uh, but yeah, nice. great to have him out there, and um, you know he's such a focal point for the side. I yeah. just hope we don't become too yeah. Peter centric. Looking for him every yeah. time. Yeah. But no, I don't think so because we've got Langford also kicking three goals. Oh, he's yeah. just ah, oh, he's a beauty. What do you think he's about? Just, I mean, a couple of years ago. I mean, I, I, thought, I didn't yeah. think he was much, to be honest. I, yeah, fine. Like, there, there were maybe a, you know, way more clangers that there are now with uh, a couple of years ago with Langford, but I always just felt like Clangford. he just... <laughs> <laughs> Did you come up with that or was it already circling around? I think that, might, I think that might be a thing. Right, I okay. think that might be All a right, thing. Okay. Um, but he is that no longer. No. I love him down in that forward Golford. line. Golford. He is dead-eyed dick with the ball. Oh, God, he's amazing. I love him. Swear to God, I think he's kicked 32 goals this season off a half forward flank yeah. and played a fair bit of time down back. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, again, I mean, he's got to be tempting at least a selection in the 40 man squad for the All Australian. If right. he keeps going this way, yes. you know, there's what, seven odd games to go. You know, if he can kick another 15 goals, yeah. you know, he's talking about, you're talking about a 40 plus more than 40 plus goal season for a half forward flank yeah. and yeah. that's a sensational return. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know again he's just oozes class. Yes. You know? You know, it just wasn't there for the first four yeah, or five years no, of his but career. He's, but put, he's, he's definitely a player who's put all the pieces together. Yeah. And, and has that confidence in yes, himself, right? big time. Yeah. And that is everything, as we know. Yep. Uh, not all the players have it. Um, so let's go into the injuries. I was a little bit worried about Sir Ridley. Yeah, King. Yes, <laughs> King. Oh, sorry. King. I got the bloody distinction wrong. King yes. Jordan of Ridley. <laughs> and by God, if he, I think he might go up to Emperor Emperor Jordan He went back of Ridley. on. He did. Oh, what was what was going on? I mean, on? he his leg was so far bent. You I, could have used it as a as a I, right angle on a building site. I would have thought they Seriously. just wrapped him right up, but he was keen to head back. He out. was. Yeah. I mean, I I couldn't believe it, and uh, you know, because when you saw the replay of it, oh man, it, oh, it was one of those horrible. ones where you got to yeah. look away. But um, I think he he'll probably miss the next week. And and honestly, look, don't put the guy at risk. He's he's he should be put in cotton wool. He's that precious. Um, but so yeah. you don't send him down to the. Oh, I wouldn't. Well, we'll cover that in our preview. If there's any doubt, there's any doubt. I mean, if okay. he's fine, he's fine. But if there's any doubt, no, he's right. got to be looked after. He's absolutely pivotal 
yes. to our defence, and uh, yeah, to, okay. for him to not be there is a is a real worry. But yeah, um, but so I'm sure he'll be fine. Thankfully, it's nothing more than just bone bruising. So yes. yeah. Speaking of defensive injuries, now Redmond, what what's going on? Yeah, there Redmond with his, uh, grabbing the back of his thigh. Oh, we don't um, like people grabbing the back of their thigh. Maybe he's sending another message to the Adelaide recruiters. Yeah. Well, what's that? Um, I'm, I'm injury prone. <laughs> don't bother. Uh, yeah. I don't know. He's all right. I think Scotty said after the game in the presser, uh, he had a little bit of tendonitis or some sort of oh, tendon inflammation. Yeah. So not a muscle tear or strain, yeah. which is yeah. which is very good. Yeah. Uh, and he, he, get, he, sorry, go on. And he wasn't super keen to get off either. Apparently, according to Scotty, he was still running and spreading and uh, and uh, spreading, spreading, spreading. Hair spreading. Hair spread, spread, spread. No, that What's wasn't spreading? spreading. Running and spreading. He was he was what, he was keen st- to stay involved. Out. Yeah, make himself bigger. Oh, okay. So he was doing, still doing that despite. Doing, do, yes. Oh, do, yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, Redmond, I think, will be okay. But again, any doubt, don't play him. Well, uh, all right, we'll get it. We'll, we'll 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 cover the oh. uh, the preview for the game at the Cattery. But it sounds like yeah, you're yeah. Uh, yeah you're looking past it. You're giving up before. I'm not going to give away even getting on the bus. But anyway, I'm not going to give away any thoughts on the, the game right. against the cats because no. we've got a, a blockbuster video to do on that. We do, we do. So, we do. And, I, and I know everyone out there is just hanging for that to drop. You would be. Um, yes. So let's let's move on. What what else right. have we got to talk about? In this well, game? I I I think that uh, that covers a lot of the key issues. We didn't get annoyed too much by the umpires, so that was nice. Uh, a little bit. I will they, they say just this. Annoy you I will say on this. There. This this sent bouncer, okay? Ah, uh, right. Do you remember a couple uh, of right. weeks ago we talked about, you know, umpires and trying to make things black and white for mm. them? Because to be fair, some of the rules are, are pretty gnarly. Yeah. But this bouncing the ball at the beginning of each quarter, uh, it to me is so anticlimactic now because you have this big build up to the beginning of the game out at yeah. Marvel. I'll tell you yeah. what, it's like being at a, a, a Nine Inch Nails concert. There's so much noise going on in the right. ground. Okay. And then finally they blow the siren, and then Nine the umpire stands, spends the next 10 seconds thinking, oh my mm. God, I've got to get this right, yeah, I've got to get this yeah, right. Yeah. Bounce the bloody thing, will yeah, you? Yeah, and yeah. they bounce it, and it goes shooting off at yeah, right angles. Yeah, I'll call it yeah, back. Yeah, you know, yeah. just get rid of the mm. bounce. I mean, mm. it, it's some people with it's tradition. Mm. Find a better tradition. Yeah. That's yeah. not a tradition we need to hang on to. Yeah, okay. You know? So let's just make it easier for the umpires and perhaps then we can sort of learn to love them a little bit more. Right. But right now we despise them. And yeah. I'm not it's not their fault. Honestly, it's just the rules of this game are so convoluted. That's all I want to say about it. Yes. That. All right. Well, I mean, do you agree I, with me? I, well, I do, I, the ones that hurt me is the ones that I really notice is when it does do that forty-five degree angle, but it's just sort of still on the edge. Of, right. It's, it's like a line ball on that, their side. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you know, I think I'll just let Play it go. On. Let it go. Yeah. I'll just let the other run and have a free run at it. That's yeah, all right. I yeah. can. That happens a lot to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've actually, they probably planned it. Probably yeah, think. probably. Now, what does. about so, this? Just one question. I'm sure, going to throw. Zach sure. Merritt has been absolutely on fire this year. He He's has. got to be polling well in the brown low. Yes. Well, I mean, you, you wonder. I mean, we mentioned that probably f- f- five weeks ago, six weeks ago. That that it's going to end nasty um, for everybody, um, yeah. and that's only been further exacerbated. Now, my question is: Do the umpires then tweak? Their, their votes, knowing that a player has no uh, chance. You're asking a serious question here. I am. Of course they do. <laughs> I mean, they would have got the, the memo for, from HQ. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. They were, the memo would have come through. What would it have said? Dear umpires. De- right. Uh, dear okay. lime-dressed maggots. Right. Please, for the right. love of God, yes. do not give Zach Merritt three votes. Even if he mm. has 50 possessions, right. maybe give him one. Because right. we cannot afford mm. to have... The winner or the highest poll getter in the Brownlow right. being someone who we've rubbed out for that ridiculous decision of a sling tackle that was yes. like laying a baby in a cot. Right. And I'm I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sorry, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, well, I am, but not on this occasion. I am certain <laughs> mm. that to avoid embarrassment, right. they're not going to be voting for him. Well, that is an outrage. If it's that utter. is true, and how, how do they how do they end the letter? Your sincerely or kind regards. What do they go for? We know where your children go to school. That's how they they finish it. Oh. You know, that, or do they write it as sort of in that sort of you know kidnapper style with like sort of, our you know, logo? Cut out, cut out newspaper. <laughs> well, <you laughs> cut know, out newspaper. Mate, the AFL is, is only one step above organised crime, aren't they? Mm, really? they mate. 
the mate, underworld. The way they underworld took, the series way they number t- seven. The way they took the Dons down, big time. Big time. And our most recent Brownlow medalists. Yes. So they're yes. not going to let us get near a Brownlow medal, they, those, those pricks. Hey, that'll be Gil McLaughlin's passing gesture it to will us. Be. Is, hey. yeah, don't let him get it. Okay, guys? Yeah. Okay, boys? Was he talks like Bugsy Malone. He does. Hey. So that's All my right. view on okay. that. Um, All right. Well, that, that's a rather controversial end. But let's I'm, it, I'm, gar- that, I'm guaranteeing you yes. we will get a lot of comments from, right. from our, our, our viewers yes. going, you're absolutely right, they're right. corrupt pricks. Yes. They're, they're going to make sure Merritt doesn't get anywhere near winning or polling the most votes. All right, let's see. Let's see what you comment. Let's see what they are. Well, in summary, a great result for the Dons. We tweeted before the game that there was an opportunity there to take fifth position, and normally that ends in a... Oh, we didn't make You guys jinxed us. Yeah, Yeah. that's normally how that story ends. We actually did take advantage of that uh, that game, and uh, it's all looking... Happy days. Okay thus far. Happy days. May it continue. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you on the uh, on the next one. We will be back very soon. And, by the way, yeah, please hit a like. Oh, yeah. And subscribe. Yeah. yeah. It would really help us. It really would. Yeah. Please. Thanks, guys. See Pretty you soon. Please. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye.